Hey guys, welcome back to another powder coating video. And today we're laying on Glacia Frost Mica. So this is like a glossy white powder coat with a blue pearl and it's gonna look sick on these MR2 wheels. That's right guys, we got a set of 17 inch Toyota MR2 wheels that are like the real deal shipped up here from i believe japan i think that's with yeah i believe so but anyway customer had a color he really liked uh, it's an app color glacier frost mica um, it's not a company we typically work with but we were going to spray that for him so they supplied us with the powder so basically what we're going to do we've already got the wheels already blasted so these wheels were actually the paint they were bright white to start with but they had some chips from, and beat up around the edges so we completely stripped and blasted them down to bare aluminum They've been in the oven outgassing for a few hours now. We're ready to take them out and hit them up with our Columbia Coatings white epoxy primer. So a white primer is a great base to go underneath a light colored or a white powder. So we're gonna go ahead and get them out of the oven, get them set up one at a time and get them in primer. Out of the oven it goes. Ready for some primer. All right guys, we're laying on the epoxy primer now. Now this, the, the trick to this stuff is you're just gonna lay it on and you're gonna put it in the oven and let it flow out till it's just flowed out. We're not fully curing this epoxy primer at all. So keep that in mind because that's critical to get a good finish on your wheels. All right guys, I got one wheel completely in powder. Um, so what we do is on your back mounting surface, at least on the first coat, we will leave this in primer and not bring that down to bare aluminum. Up here in the Northeast, we got a real problem with corrosion. We have never had a fitment issue and the customer can always sand that down to bare aluminum. We won't put the other two coats on it. Again, this is a three-step process. So you got your primer, your base, then your clear because this stuff does require a clear. It's not even gonna look like it should until it has that clear. But the entire wheel gets primer in the entirety. So rinse and repeat. Let's get the other three on there and in the oven. All right, guys, there it is. They are all in their epoxy primer, ready to go in the oven. Now, these are going to go into a 375-degree oven. We're not letting them fully cure. This is just going to go until the powder flows out or, or glosses out. Then we're going to pull them back out, let them cool, and apply our Arctic white. So that's the actual color itself, which, again, won't pop until you get the clear on it. There it is. That's the Glacier Frost, and it has a lot of blue metallic. If it was sunny out, you could see it. But it is real hard to see. It doesn't look like much. And I know even after it flows out, it doesn't look like much. But wait until the clear hits it. All right, guys. We got the gun all loaded up with our uh, Glacier Frost. And you may see it a little bit when I'm spraying the metallic -y. But again, it's going to be almost like spraying white over white. So nothing crazy to see here because it's not like you're going from like one color to a next color it's just the end result so trust the process but again three-step process keep in mind we already sandblasted and outgassed these wheels so if you added that to it it's five steps um so there's a lot that goes on with behind the scenes with all this so let's start spraying it you can kind of pick up on the metallics a little bit i can see it and again that won't really pop until we lay the clear on there so i get this things all in there glacier frost and get this stuff cured then it's on to the clear the entire wheel is in the glacier frost i'm going to go ahead and use my micro vacuum kit from coatings by coats and i'm going to vacuum not with this one hand while holding the camera but vacuum the flat surface off down to the primer again um, to give that good mating surface now, there's other ways you can do it you could sand it off after you're done but um, this thing works pretty good again it's from coatings by coats he makes some really good detailed vacuums and stuff so let me get the back of that off there and get the rest of the wheels done. All right, there it is, guys. A little shot with the uh, actually mounting flange itself cleaned back off. So we got the frost, the glacier frost on, and then we went ahead and vacuumed that mounting surface back off again for this wheel. So we're going to get the rest done and then in the oven. All right, here we go. Arctic Glacier is on or Glacier White. I don't even know what it's called. I keep messing that up. <laughs> It's going in the oven now, get this baby float out, and then on to the final step, which is the clear, and that's what's really gonna make it come together. And honestly, until you get out in the sun, it really doesn't pop, so we're gonna have to wait. It, we don't get much sun this time of year, so that sucks too. All right, guys, our Glacier Frost color coat is now ready to come out of the oven. So again, you'll be able to see the pearlescence in it and stuff when I shine a light on it, 
but until we get that clear it really really is a game changer so let me get it out of the oven i'll show you and then we'll move on to the final step which is the wheel clear we use and had great luck with it from columbia coatings this is such a really nice clear doesn't mess doesn't dull out any other powders or anything so it's a real good clear all right guys here they are out of the oven in the color coat and as you can see you get in the light in the different lighting i don't know if you can even pick it up with the flashlight it's hard to tell me looking through the gopro i hope you can you can see the pearlescence in there but again this has got no clear on it yet so the next step is we got to get these things in clear so we're going to let this this uh the wheel setups cool all the way down get them into our wheel clear and then they're done and that's when it really pops but that is actually a really a beautiful color hey right, guys i probably mentioned this in our other videos but we're using the columbia coatings hyper smooth o3 led uh powder coating system been real happy with it we got a shaker for it we use our vortex cup a lot unless it's like a big 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 uh thing we're doing all at once and we'll go ahead and load the hopper up um we'll upgrade it as we go but this gun has been a great workhorse um we're actually due to do a full rebuild on it i got a complete kit to rebuild the gun all the fittings and o-rings and everything on it so it's in that box down there we'll do that in another video but now it's time to hang the wheel and get the clear on Alright guys, the clear is all on there. We're getting ready to put them in the oven. Just giving a one quick little look over. Make sure everything's where we want it to be. And get these things cured in the final step. So now they're going in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes, I believe. Uh, 17 minutes at 350. That's part temperature. So in they go. Alright, late night tonight. <laughs> it's it's uh, Monday night. It's now uh, quarter to nine and they're in the oven flowing out um so we'll be here till probably about 9 30 tonight in order to get these wheels done and out of the oven but that's the way it goes when you get involved in a process sometimes well being small business you just got to get it done push through and get it done so oh man my lens is all crappy they're done let's get them out of the oven it's only like i don't know almost 400 freaking degrees honestly i can tell you i've burned myself on this more than once Look at that guys that's out of the oven in the clear ready to go those look really 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 nice baby all right i'm tired i'm calling it a night i will try to catch some of these in the sunlight um to kind of show you a different view of them because it, in the daylight it's phenomenal all right guys it's dark again of course so we can't really get a shot in the sun but the owner's here and uh he's actually going to send me some photos of them in the sun tomorrow whenever he does we'll add them to the video but they came out awesome it's a super cool color it's the first time i've used it i love the bur the blue like pearlescence in that in that white it's honestly the only first time i've seen it 